Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to another Let's Play of Civ 5. Yeah, I'm playing Civ 5 again. Uh, I haven't played in a long time, so I could be, like, totally noobish on as doing this, so we're gonna try this, uh, out. And I'm just gonna look to see who I want to play as, because I haven't a good idea yet. I don't want to be Nebuchadnezzar again, but... Hmm. We'll be China. I've played one game as China before, um, and it was just... It was a one-episode game. So, let's do that. Um... You know what, we're gonna go with a large map, just because. Difficulty level 5 sounds good. Um, advanced setup. We'll go with... I do want a world map. Um... Sure, we'll do an Earth map. Why not? King, standard, ancient, temperate, rainfall, normal, sea level, low, resources, legendary start, uh, policy saving, promotion saving, and yeah. Sounds good. Let's try this out. Blessings of heaven be upon you, Empress Wu Zutian, most beautiful and haughty ruler of China. O oh, great Empress, whose shadow causes the flowers to blossom and the rivers to flow. You are the leader of the Chinese, the oldest and the greatest civilization that humanity has ever produced. China's history stretches back into the mists of time its people achieving many great things long before the other upstart civilizations were even conceived. China's contributions to the arts and sciences are too many and too wondrous to do justice to. The printing press, gunpowder, the works of Confucius, these are but a few of the gifts China has given to an undeserving world. You, great queen, who with cunning and beauty rose from the position of lowly concubine to that of divine empress. Your people call out to you to lead them. Great China is once again beset on all sides by barbarians. Can you defeat all your many foes and return your country to greatness? Can you build a civilization to stand the test of time? Okay then. What an excellent location. We have rivers, we have hills for defense. I can make this a very good wonder city. Um, I'm on a hill. Excellent. This could be a very high gold city with the sugar over there. The dyes over here next to rivers. Yeah, this is good. Good, good. Uh, first production will be a monument. We get that done in seven turns, which is excellent. And we'll have you go this way. Ruins right there. Bingo. Our research. Yeah, I know. I've reset everything. Okay, so tech tree. Shut up. I know. Um, let's see, what is the paper maker? It gives me gold as well. I see. Well, we definitely want to get that. And I'm in dead last. Archery? Nice. That's always good. Ooh, pearls over here. This location right here on this hill probably would be a good place. Oh, 
we'll keep on going up. More ruins over there, but I can't get to them. Fish over here. I still like this hill. Hopefully with the increased production we're gonna have from the hill, we're gonna have a nice amount of uh, units and stuff being built. Because, for example, we already have that without even uh, doing that. So the temple is pretty good, but I'm gonna build a scout next. We want to explore and explore and make sure that we get all of the areas around me like kind of cleared up so that I can see where I want to expand my cities because I'm going to be focusing a little bit on expansion. I would like to do that relatively early on. Barbarians. Shall the clay. Thank you. Get my defeat. Lots of dives. Hmm. quite production heavy and we definitely don't have a lot of growth coming in so that's not good so I want to get the granary at first and our increased production will uh, make that you look at that gold within range nice and there's silk over here out of range Okay, so we've got a nice little protected area zone there. We can adopt a policy. We're going to go for tradition unless these I have change some more. I don't think they have. Yeah, three culture in the capital. Yeah, so this doubles our culture. Gives our next policy in five turns. And we're going to have you explore down this way a little bit. Cattle and a city state over here. Brussels! A cultured city state that is friendly. Nice. Ah, here we go. So, a city up here. A city here ish. Probably right there. Maybe even lower. I don't already have incense. No, I don't. More dies up that way. And this leads to a dead end with whales down here. Okay, so we were going to want a naval city down here. I wonder if I'm on an island. That would be awesome. And I can focus purely on expansion. You move your way back up here. So I am very low on the list, but we're working our way up. Okay, now we hit Liberty. And we're going to grab uh, probably citizenship, possibly citizenship next, I'm not sure yet. Okay, granary's done, which is good. Uh, the next thing that we're going to want... Well, one more scout. And then I can build a warrior. 
and then my policies do uh, the uh, expanding part with the worker and the settler. Foxes up there. So to my left, I probably want to expand relatively quickly if I think that they're going to settle there. If there's no one on that entire island, then I'll just settle wherever the heck I want. If this is an island, I'm not sure. Not running into many ruins. I. Which is kind of a bummer. Okay, that's not good at all. Oh, there we go. Ruins right there. Now then, you guys, get up there. Better defense. And if they do attack you again, you should be able to hold your ground. And if not, that means we have to build another warrior. Come on, don't you know, Oh, la, wa, ha, ha. He who destroys. Good job. Twenty culture. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now the question is: Should we go straight for the paper maker, or should we do something different? <clears throat> Actually, we only have twenty-three turns to the great library, and it gives me a free paper maker, and I do like that a lot. So we'll grab this and just let it continue to grow. And we're going to need mining next. No, actually, we won't need mining. We're going to go ahead and grab a... Uh, we'll need it eventually. Might as well grab it. Because next production, because I don't, I'm not going to have uh, be able to even work any of my tiles, I'm not going to grab the... Uh, you go down this way. I'm not going to be able to grab the... What is it? The settler uh, policy. Or the worker policy. Because I can't do anything, so that's kind of pointless. So what I'll do is I shall grab aristocracy. It gives me a boost to wonders. Not great, but not bad either. And then, next policy, when I have all the text, I'll grab probably collective rule, because I probably already have built a settler. But we'll go ahead and just grab this. Because it should be... It didn't even really do that much, go figure. But, it's okay. Stone down here. Gold and ruins. Yeah, this is definitely another city location. In fact, a good city location would probably be right here. Or here, right where these ruins are. Elephants over there. Everyone has more money than me. Nice, so we get an increase in population. That'll help my uh, growth. Yeah, yeah, right here. Because then I have access to a sea city on a river. That's a good location right there. So I'm also going to be able to get a free tech. Let's go ahead and have you guys come up here. Let's just see what's around. If you get attacked in a while. Okay, well, you can go ahead and just heal up. You'll be fine. Um, let's go ahead and check down this way. I don't think there's much else, but yeah, that's definitely a good location for a city. And then once the city hits level 5, I'm probably going to switch to production focus. Or size 5. Man, barbarians sure are aggressive. That's good, you guys. You guys are doing good. On to my next policy. 12 turns? Okay. Yeah, that's not bad at all. We have sheep here. Huh. I still do like this location right here, though. Okay, 
Okay, you've grown. Um, we want... We're going to need happiness. So we're going to go ahead and hit uh, calendar next. Right? Because this is... Removes jungle and these are forests. Yeah. So we can go ahead and grab calendar next. And by the time that's done... Yeah, I'll be really close to be able to get that. Though I think I might actually get the settler one. And just thank you out there. The city. And just boost my production. Two for f two turns of production for four turns of citizens. That's fine. I'm cool with that. And this barbarian over here is getting like trapped. They're not attacking. I'm not really surprised. I guess, but. Finally meet someone. Hello. The people. Bye. We really need to find a bunch of extra resources, though. So it looks like I do want to settle this way, but that means I'm also not alone. So we want to settle this way first. We want to push as far this way as we can and grab everything I want this way. And then focus on my left side. Okay, you're fully healed. Stalemate. So we'll go ahead and attack anyway. Thank you. Because unfortunately, we're going to need happiness. I could go into the unhappy and be unhappy for a little bit. And just settle another city real quick. You know, it does kind of go against what I like. Okay, you got promoted. Yeah, get the survivalism, because with another heal, you should be able to hold off. Clock home. And there's a lot of rough terrain where my city is, so we'll go ahead and get rough. Drill, the uh, drill promotion, and you can heal up. Something I also need to consider is that I get a free tech. Ooh, just barely held on. A city state has re Thank you. So every barbarian we kill no Brussels. Okay. There's elephants and stuff down here, so it looks like maybe coming and settling there and then maybe over here. Yeah, and then you're settling those cities and going out that direction, focusing militarily on this side. And then like so just settling cities over here. So what tech do I have? Do I have a tech that... I, oh, philosophy. We'll grab philosophy next. That would be the best one. So let's see what's up this way. We meet Babylon? Okay, so we're definitely not alone anymore. So we definitely want to settle out this way as fast as possible. So it looks like I will be getting the uh, settler policy... But I'm, actually, I'm, I'm not gonna. Actually, I need another warrior to protect my units. That's another thing I need to consider. There are barbarians all over the place, so I can build warriors after. So okay, and I can. And I do need happiness. You know what? I am. Ugh. Not like where I'm at. Okay, grab bronze working next. You can hit this. I've done that. Next turn. And then we get Greece as well. So this is going to be interesting. Lots of elephants this way. Lots of barbarians. Yeah, this is going to be tricky.
Um, you want to avoid for open borders. You're stockpiling gold for my other city. Oh no. See, they're already settling out this way. I really should. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that warrior's probably gonna end up getting killed. We'll go ahead and grab collective rule. Oh wow, that's empty? Why is that empty? That's glitched. And it wants me to go there. I don't want it to go there unprotected, though. Eh, whatever. It's relatively hilly, so we'll have to take a chance. Did I tell you to move there? Oh, there goes one scout. So there we go with our library, free tech, philosophy, it's the most expensive one by far. There is own a boom boom in the classical era. By turn forty. Now we could build a national college. What I would rather do is build a warrior. You keep exploring. Oh, that wasn't me. I just saw that action. Okay. Oh, good. Free sh free rain. We can just get over there. Okay, you get in my city. So, lots of desert. So, it looks like I do want to get to... these elephants. So a city here and a city here-ish. Yeah. I like that. And then I'll be done with expanding that way. What's well, nice is Beijing actually cuts off everything else. So I probably won't be trading my open borders. Aside from my Alexander because I already did that. So... Oh, crud. Okay, actually, you go there and you're okay. Yeah, because I can't get there. Nice! We're safe, just barely. <laughs> don't have the silks either. So maybe another city up here. Good, thank you, America. And found city. Okay, um, uh, we're gonna grab... I really do want the pyramids, though. That would actually help me out so much. Um, you... Can build me a monument. We can... Not rush by a paper maker. Which would be ideal, because then we'll start getting some money as well. Thank you. Juice production. Alright. How long will it take me to build a worker? Seven turns. Build me another warrior. And then when that's done, I can just grab the pyramids real fast. And probably build another wor worker while I'm doing that.
Oh, there's a marble all the way down here. It's too far away. Uh, you can auto explore. Why would you explore that? Go that way. You gonna like gonna clear that up seriously? Stupid. Range them. Oh, look at that. Erg. I don't know why he's not growing because I got unha I'm unhappy. I gotta gotta fix that. Thank you. Do nothing. Because these jerks are blocking me. How happy are you? Beijing demands silver. You auto explore. You finish them off. Okay, next we grab ironworking. I want to my next policy as well. 13 turns. Okay. In Helsinki. Yeah, we want the pyramids for the workers. But I don't really want to... Move up. And you're going to move to right here. Right in between them. So I can move to you to whichever city needs more help. So, next turn. Go to the city. Where do you think you're going? Okay, next turn. And these orders, you can just alert. Next turn. Classical, classical, classical. Stonehenge has been built in a faraway land. Yee. Yeah, I'll probably just start building a worker in my other city. Thank you, because the stupid... They, they didn't fix that. That's just dumb. Seriously, you guys gotta do that. Well, actually, we're at turn uh, 52, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Whoa, I'm in first place. Dang. Uh, demographics. Population, I'm in fifth. Approval, I'm in dead last. Because I only have 50% of 7% approval. I'm assuming that's my happiness. Literacy, I'm in first... How is the average 1%? Someone, like, not be able to settle the city? Seems kind of weird. Okay, well, I'll cut this video off here, so thank you very much for watching, and God bless.